Uh, John, I guess, uh, what do you make of a contest like that? You've had a few when you've lost, they've all been close ones, but what do you make of how that game finished up in the last few months there? Oh, I'm just really proud of our players. I mean, to be able to um, have a contest like that when you lose next on three players in your team pretty early in the game, I thought it was an outstanding effort by our players. Absolutely outstanding. And um, sometimes, you know, you, you pull up short against a team that's won six in a row and I think it lost three quarters for the over, over the last month. I just thought our blokes were outstanding. Hopefully, you know, hopefully that's... Um, recognised because I think they did a great effort when they lost you know, so many players and in pretty hot conditions were able to play the way we did. You talk about the injuries, I know that there's obviously the two guys that couldn't finish out the game, but Will ran out the game, he looked like he was pretty sore when he came off with that ankle, I mean, can you speak about his effort? Oh, it, was, it was incredible, that's why, that's why they, they, um, our players just were, were terrific and sometimes you you come off games and you know you should have played better and, and um, you're really disappointed because of how you play and your effort wasn't up to the level of of what's required. That's, I couldn't say that about our players today. It's just, um, um, you know, early in the game, it was a pretty warm day and and, um, and the way we did, we it would have been a great one to win. It would have been a really top-notch effort to win and, and we didn't. Do you think it did eventually take a toll? Well, I'm sure on the bench, plus it seemed like you were restricted in where you could move. <laughs> what do you think, Mark? What do you reckon? It's better to hear from you than me. Oh, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think I need to say that. Um, just on Dane and Paps, like, have you got an idea of how they are? No. No, no, they're obviously serious enough for me. Rams was a calf and Paps was an ankle, which is, um, which is disappointing. Um, two pretty important players. I'm not sure what Will's story is yet either, so we'll have to wait and see. I guess you could continue to talk to the fight. If Brisbane headed you a couple of times, kept fight, fighting back. I'm not saying it would be easy to, to roll over, but you can speak to that. Particularly in that last quarter, you mentioned the heat and everything else. So oh, that ability to keep fighting. I just, you know... <laughs> And, you know, they had, what did they have? They had 10 scoring shots in the last quarter, but um, a couple of times they just got on top of us through stoppage and, and were able to get um, ground position in that last quarter, which meant we were under the, under the pump a little bit. But then we came back out and threw counter punches when we, whenever we could, and we counter punched well and got in front again. And um, unfortunately, as a big contest went up, and they, they, you know, the McCluggage last quarter was, was significant for them. Um, obviously, kicked a couple of goals. and. The spill ball that landed on the ground can go one way or not, and and um, and it went their way, and they picked it up and kicked the goal from it. And um, but that doesn't detract from I just think our players' effort was was of a really high standard, and you just sometimes you just got to acknowledge that would have been a fantastic game to win. Would have been one of the all-time really good ones. Is there anything in the uh, like the tight losses that you would look to address, or is this just an, an out a different? Well, I mean, we sort of um, you know we had. Chances, we just had shots at goal and missed them um, against um, two of those games when we just got down to the last minute and um, missed shots at goal. So if those shots go through, you, you master it quite well. But um, every story is a bit different today where I thought we just, you know, we were undermanned and we kept on having a crack and kept on, kept on counter-punching and we've got to do it a bit better. Yeah, it would be great to win two of those, um, but we haven't, haven't got them on the board. I think you've been asked about it a hundred times, but the first quarters you gave up a yeah. gave a bit of a head start, obviously, which doesn't help. Because like you'd, you'd obviously overturned it by half time, but just the frustration of the first Yeah, we've got to do better than that. You know, we've sort of got a couple of it. It's, it's something we've talked about, we've spoken about, we've tried to train it. We've, you know, we've got to get better at it. It's um, trying to do what we do before pre game or something, but we've got to just do better than that. I mean, Brisbane. And obviously, when you're sitting at the top of the ladder, the teams come out and go hard, and you've got to expect that. But then you've got to you've got to counter punch a bit earlier than that. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with actually throwing the first one. And we've we haven't done that as good as what we can do. What do you um, your thoughts around the Lockie Neal? Obviously, he's always a talking point, but it seemed like Adams was following him quite a lot, and you've really nullified his influence. Yeah, look, he's a superstar, but um, we had a you know we had Mills. Um, McInerney row bottom out of our team today and and then you lost Papley and Rampy. You know, it's not a not too bad an effort, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so um, you know, on a on a team that played in the grand final last year on their home deck, so um, we had to give Adams and Parker two jobs probably that are not normally used to and they were able to 
do a pretty good job. You know, he's a very good player, Lockie, and um, they've got a good midfield. So for those blokes to come in and play a role for us as a team was really good. What did you think of those guys? The guys that have Particularly Parker, I guess, he's just freshly back. Like, what did you see from him today? Well, I mean, those guys split a role on Lockie, and, and um, so that was a big job for them. Um, so I thought that they were able to contribute in that. You know, that was their main role, to be able to, to do that. Um, but, um, you know, we're not sure what we get back next week, but, um, um, you know, we still, we still believe that these blokes, are, they do a good effort. You know, when they're putting in an effort like that, it gives you every chance and, you know, we'll look at the close ones and try and get that better. Uh, Harris Andrews was pretty influential in the first half. Did you have a plan for him? Uh, yeah, we did. I mean, we sort of we tried to restrict it. We tried to um, shift the ball a bit, but also try and play on his back a little bit. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. I thought he got on top in the second quarter. And, um, yeah, and there was some times where he, he played really well. Um, um, but we were able to adjust, adjust that at different times as well. All right, thanks. <clears throat>